Hoxton Fashion Show with Supermall on Hoxton Radio uh, with special guest in the studio, uh, Jules Heptonstall. Let us into your favourite jobs. My, some of my highlights. Yeah. Um, definitely tanning Versace models for all their campaigns. That's a massive highlight because they are so easy on the eye. Um, other highlights, de- I mean, strictly X Factor. I have such a scream doing that. It's a job that really takes you into all different realms of industries. And anyone listening who does want to go into working behind the scenes, whether it's beauty, hair, tanning, what skills do you feel you have that are necessary for your job or that you need? I mean, I think definitely in beauty, if you are wanting to move into session work and going backstage and working with celebrities, um, patience and um, a a big smile will go a long way. Is the beard over? Has it had its hipster heyday? What is in the future of facial hair? Tell us. I feel that the beard is on its way out. I think this is it. But the problem is, and all men will be nodding along like the Churchill dog to this, your stubble and your beard becomes like your safety blanket. And Why is that? Because you look in the mirror and that top that top lip, if anyone's I mean, I've accidentally put my clipper on too short and whizzed the whole thing off before and you're like, I look about (laughs) twelve. Some midday and live on the telephone right now we've got a special guest all the way from switzerland carlo how are you very good thank you how are you very good and um you work for a pretty big watch company don't you i actually do since a few years i'm the creator of our first swatch but how would you describe swatch to someone who has never met the brand how would you describe its dna well for me you know swatch is fantastic because it's um it's it, it it happens to be a fantastic and, and high quality Swiss made watch. Uh, but at the same time, it's a wonderful combination of four elements, which are color. That's definitely the first one that comes to mind. Um, lightness, which is lightness of, uh, uh, the product itself, but of course also lightness of mind. We, we tend to take things quite lightly and then transparency and transparency both in the sense that many of our watches actually have a see-through face so you can see uh, the movement you can understand how a watch works but it's also transparency in the way we communicate <laughs> 